Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macram. It's time for episode seven of season two of House of the Dragon. I love the show, and I love where we're going. Apparently, quite a few didn't like episode six. Well, not you guys, but people in general. Didn't like episode six because it's girls kissing. Gross. But hey, what do you want from me? Um, that's how they feel. That's how they feel. Uh, it didn't bother me. Not even a little bit. Um, I don't know what to expect from this episode. Except more Jay's faces. Could be fun. Don't forget to press the like button. Follow the algorithm and subscribe. Let's get to it. That's fucking fantastic. I'm sorry. Sea smoke going all the smoke. Jesus. I may appear lowborn, but I know. And if the gods call me to greater things, who am I to refuse them? That sounds right to me. Adam of Hull. I'm glad of it. Because uh, Adam always looks like he's about to cry. Mother was a shipwright. You'll have a scar. Nothing is clean here. What are they for? The block or the crow cage? The wall. The Prince Regent is merciful. No. <laughs> Amos! Amos fucking fantastic. They started a riot. Justice is served, I suppose. Sure, we can go with that. Rumor of a sighting of the dragon sea smoke. Who is this rider? That is less clear. Where did you hear it? My squire. He heard it from a stable hand, who heard it from his father, a fisherman, whose shipmate claims he saw it. Yeah. It's got a uh, funky chain of custody, so to speak. Could look into it, though. Beats on the case. I have no worries. What's Corliss going to say? He's got to know. Where's the queen? Her grace sends word she will not be attending. <laughs> that are known to me. There are sure to be more. Perhaps some here on Dragonstone, the misbegotten offspring of your house. Your come to clutch. There is honor. Your royal half-brothers, Aegon and Aemond, whose blood is pure, who wage war against you for your throne. Talk to her. Tell her she's being goofy. Let us raise an army of bastards. It's a cold ass line. Let's go. Corliss got some explaining to do. I was right on Adam not saying anything. You don't want to be impugning people's integrity without uh, <laughs> a little bit of backup first. Well done. Thank you, I guess. Happy he finally acknowledged your existence. It'd take more than that for me, but fuck it. It does seem to me that you've made rather a mess here. Countenancing barbarities Shit. in the Queen's name. But this little motherfucker, go ahead. I was told they would come to heal when House Tully declared its allegiance. That may be the case. And there is another problem. They'll hate you. <laughs> Your Grace, my lord. The River Lords await. I fear we cannot delay them any longer. You know they're rather sassy. Come along, Lord Oscar. I like this pairing. I don't really know why. It's because Damon's actually doing something. That could be it. And I have no love for Damon Targaryen. He has dishonored himself and the crown with his comportment here. <laughs> I like this little motherfucker. I see no reason to cast aside loyalty. No matter how loathsome I may find her representative, the prince. King, mind your tongue, boy. Damn, you motherfucker, this up already? Will you have our army or not? <laughs> I am in the end a river Go man. Ahead. But don't allow my failings to keep you from supporting an upright man. In the old ways call for justice to be done. Yes. I accept you as my vassal. But uh -oh. 
You did it because you wanted to. Mm. Seize him. God. Damn, just let him fucking go. They can't give up all these fucking swords. And dispense justice. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. If you are so great, I've been faithful. Just like that. They even probably could have called this bluff, but for what? We end up here eventually, again. Smooth as fuck. It had to be done, sir. Oh my god. Those two visions. Fantastic. Well, it's a fun little respite while it lasted. Acting's ass, so this is really hard to watch. Everything hurts. Oh my god. Your progress is impressive. It is. Major's getting a lot of airtime this season. You should be more cautious. Him. He's fine. The rider is your brother. Yeah. She now right? makes Look at that face. So I was like, I don't think she's mean. Did you see that face? Look at that face. It's a determined face. She watches people walk. Where the fuck are you going? Oh my god. Oh, dragon. When does your grace mean to return to the city? I'm not yet certain I do. Yep. Good night. What? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing out here, though? Commander of your Queen's Guard, heir to the Dunfall. These people are courageous. Mongrels. Did you think I would have dark hair? Gisera's. I'm no fool, mother. Then don't pursue it. But I cannot gainsay that which the gods have laid before me. That was a good scene. The Jason motivations are understandable. If, um... Petulant. Short-sighted. Silly, even. Taking all kinds of asses. Whoa! Believe this. What a fun montage. Well, that's a shame because I'd have been first in line if it wasn't for my injury. Because my leg hasn't been the How same. Are you touched? Since. This motherfucker. A chance to stick it to Eamon and claim a dragon. Dragon? Yeah, no, I know. What? I was wondering no, where the sword was I going. Can't, <laughs> I can't be sure it's all true. This payoff is going to be fantastic or heinous. She used to tell me I was no different to her brother's boys, the Sarahs. And Damon, I could not protect you. I could not keep our girl alive. I do not care to be a lady, Hugh, and neither do I want to be a widow. Probably the significantly more likely option or outcome. Uepo Valerio sete non toligior keso vi hot montasmo isi. Volaro tim triti sit nin kia pot mentani sosi da wo. Who's letting him go? We letting him walk? Near a than me. I used to think I knew what it was to claim a dragon, but I understand now that what I thought I knew is ash in the wind. <laughs> She'll be fine, sir. That's a nice touch. It's like, Jace, look at these mongrels. Some of you may welcome the prospect of change. Even death, suffering, will be ended. And without bloodshed god's willing good goddamn speech slightly undercut by the dragon this isn't that gonna lie to you the dragon named vermithor is the largest in the world after vega and perhaps the most fierce oh jesus may the gods bless you How many people getting cooked? Over under 
at 11 and a half. I can't see any people are here. I'm going to say over. Well over. I might have to change the odds. Over under 14 and a half. What the fuck? This is so dope. Right here. The mountain is moving. <laughs> That's a great goddamn face. Oh, that shot. Woo! <laughs> I love that. There we go. Woo! We're well over already. Oh, what a shot that was. God damn. Okay, so that plan was a failure. We're alive. For the moment, at least. Where are you going? What the fuck? Go ahead. I'm ready. Come on! <laughs> How great is that? If he died right now, he'd be the most badass motherfucker in the history of the show. <laughs> Let's go! No work to help, brother! <laughs> Let's go! I'm so hyped! <laughs> oh! Shit. Another dragon down there? Uh oh. Dragon eggs. Oh, Jesus. Just fucking with them. What is going on? He did a dragon too. <laughs> Lord Ormond Hightower makes slow on? progress. When he does, the Hightower host will be unstoppable. You gotta act like you don't hear all that. What's this? Oh! <laughs> so big already, though. Flying Godzilla. Let's not go, Baker! Go fast! Oh, he didn't fall for the Okie Doke. Go ahead! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, baby. Mm. Dope. Dope as shit. All right. That was episode seven of season two. Pardon me. Of House of the Dragon. Where to begin? As much as um, I am typically bothered by... First of all, great episode. Great. Probably my second favorite episode of the season. As much as I'm bothered by people complaining about um, uh, girls kissing, because there's nothing to complain about as far as I'm concerned, it is kind of worthless when they don't even really acknowledge it at all the next episode. You say, well, they're busy. Yeah, but they don't even act differently around one another. Because of how the kiss ended, you would think it was a big deal. You can get rid of the kiss and nothing changes, even a little bit. I'm just saying. Just my opinion. Speaking of... Um, I'm not gonna say that. But um, all of you who have defended Jace steadfastly 
from the very beginning when I've been shitting on him this whole season, and deservedly so. I'm sure you're going to take up from here again. And listen, he has a fair point. He doesn't look like his mother. He doesn't have the silver hair. Everybody's getting a fucking dragon. So what makes him the heir? So the fact that he is definitely his mother's son. You yeah, fucking dope. But it's not the point. I get what he's saying. I get why that's a deal. But you heard what he said. Mongrels. Scumbag. Sorry. Thank you for giving me the excuse to hate Jace. I'm officially down. Call these people Mongols. Those people. Our DJ would be very disappointed, as am I. That aside, <laughs> those people were fucking burnt to a crisp. <laughs> That's not funny. Um, I thought it was a really interesting way to do it. Like, we've seen these dragons now. It kind of feels like they don't really have any rules. Outside of maybe a, a light blood connection. Like that's, that's like the bare minimum. That's to get your foot in the door. Because so far, um, the first one, smoke. <laughs> that's what Jace calls Corliss. Yeah, you smoke. Um, um, he just rolled up on him and just like claimed him on his own. Claimed his human. Meanwhile, oh, I remember his fucking name. Fuck. Hugh. Hugh was fantastic. How badass was that? He, mere moments away from death, um, saves this chick from getting killed, and then starts yelling in his dragon's face. Sold. And then the bum, I don't remember his name, I'm not going to try to remember it. Uh, this dragon is just like poking with his nose. Like he's the complete opposite of a badass. And he claims him. What is going on? I haven't the fantasy, but I'm here for all of it. Uh, sold. Sold on all of them. Yeah, that whole finishing sequence from Chase and Renier talking all the way through to the end is fantastic. Especially uh, Eamon, who thought he wanted to smoke, then he saw three of them and was like, you know what? I'm going to pass on that. Vigar was not ready to pass. And I got to be honest, I probably... Still put my money on Vagar. Uh, a little more risky, a little higher bet, but I put my money on. Sorry, I just would. But hey, why risk it? I want you, why risk it? Why risk it? And as great as all that stuff was, it might not be my favorite stuff of the episode. My favorite stuff of the episode might be Damon and the kid. First of all, Damon's doing something. Immediately a big one. Immediately sold. Immediately his best episode of the season. And the kid was just shitting on him every turn. And it was fantastic. I gotta be honest, I knew he was offended when Damon kind of talked down to him the first time they see each other. But he seemed very much offended. Like, he took that shit to heart. <laughs> he was not a fan. Um, he seemed a lot more capable than I thought he was. Like, the way he speaks. That kid is something special. Hey! Hey! Damn, got what he wanted. Okay, finally. Now, let's go do some shit. If you don't mind, can we go get some stuff done? If you do not mind. I like Feet and Aegon. I, I gotta be honest, I don't know what's quite going on with Allison. She appears to be having a crisis of, I don't know if it's identity or conscience or just her place in life. Uh, but I am... I don't say uninterested, but I don't see that there are many options. It's kind of like if you had a kid and he was whining about something, and then he packed his bags. It's like, and go where? Where are you going? I thought I'd run away if he was home, so my mom never freaked out. She knows I'm not going to go. My fucking PlayStation's here. Where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> Nowhere. Um, I'm not saying that's Allison. I'm just saying, I'm not calling Allison a child. I'm just saying, she's not going anywhere. That's my guess. That's my assumption. I don't want to miss anything from this episode. There was a lot going on. Corliss is a bum. We know this, but hey. Um, oh, Reyna. Is she going to get that dragon? I think she might get that dragon. 
Because we spent quite a bit of time with her, too. This is going to pay off somehow, too. Everybody's payoff this season appears to be a dragon. Sold. Um, we didn't get any um, Kristen Cole this episode. I'm not complaining. Uh, is Otto going to come back? I feel like we could be heading there. You know what? That's my prediction. I didn't do any predictions at all uh, for next episode. Otto comes back next episode. That's my guess. MVP this episode, I would give it to you, but he's had to settle for silver because Rhaenyra came up big. It don't get much bigger than that. You completely turned the tide. Two dragon now. Three, because fucking uh, the smoke and the smoke. Come on, man. We, we cleaning up house. We cleaning up house, good buddy. So I go Rhaenyra, and then I go Hugh, and then I go, hmm, I could go with fucking the loser from that's always in the bar. Uh, but he stumbled into a dragon. You didn't really do anything except n not have it kill you, which was completely not under your control. Uh, I'm going to go a uh, tie, Damon and the kid. Damn it, kick at the bronze. LVP, Jace. He feels his birthright slipping away. Even though it isn't. But you know what? Fuck him. Sorry. Deal with it. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.